playing on the computer or video games when it's nice outside you could be outside moving around mm -hmm. if this sounds like you then you're like many other americans and if you don't change your habits now then you're going to suffer the consequences of your inactivity in the future i usually try to exercise about three or four times a week um, i've discovered how much of a positive impact it can have on your life now out of the 15 surveys that i collected from you guys Everyone except one person said that they should exercise more. I think that this statistic makes the following information extremely pertinent to you all. My goal today is to persuade you to exercise on a regular basis because of the physical and mental benefits it provides. Let's begin by outlining the effects of inactivity. People are not exercising enough, plain and simple. There is a lack of physical activity sweeping over the country According to the Centers for Disease Control and Prevention, 60% of Americans are not meeting the recommended levels of physical activity, and 16% are not active at all. On the survey I took from you guys, one third of you said that you exercise multiple times per week. That's great. That means that two thirds of you aren't giving your body the recommended, the recommended amount of physical activity that it needs. The point here is that people are dying because they're too lazy to exercise their body. Physical inactivity greatly increases your risk of developing heart disease, among other things. Now, heart disease is the number one killer in America. 500,000 people in the United States each year die from heart disease. It's half a million people every year. The World Health Organization said that a lack of physical activity contributes to approximately 17% of heart disease and diabetes. I don't want you guys to become part of these statistics. Start exercising more. You won't. Now that you've heard the effects of inactivity, let's discuss the benefits regular exercise can provide. The benefits we get from physical activity are both physical and mental. To reduce the risk of heart disease, stroke, cancer, high blood pressure, diabetes, and other medical conditions, adults over 30 only need about 30 minutes of moderate activity on most, preferably all days of the week. Now, notice I said moderate activity. I'm not saying you have to go to the gym for two hours every day. Sure, that's great if you can make the gym every day, but if, you know, we all have busy lives. A simple brisk walk in the park, you know, still counts as your daily physical activity. Exercise can also do a lot for your mind. It is directly related to desirable changes in anxiety, depression, stress reactivity, positive mood, self-esteem, and conducting cognitive functioning. When your body feels better, your mind feels better too. You'll find a whole change in your life. You'll be more positive, happier. So why would you want to add this to your life? Regular exercises, exercises perceive themselves as having more freedom, personal growth, a greater purpose in life, and positive relations with others. If you begin exercising on a regular basis, then you'll find a dramatic change in your life for the good. Exercise is key to better physical and psychological health. One example of how you see how effective exercise can be comes from a study conducted by the New England Journal of Medicine. In the study, exercise, exercise cut the risk of diabetes by a remarkable 24%. It's pretty low. On the survey that most of you took, 50% said that you would not classify yourself as a healthy person. Imagine how much healthier you would feel and ultimately be if you became a regular exerciser. I encourage you all to take action today. You must find a way to incorporate exercise into your life. Now, I know your lives are busy. Everyone's lives are busy. We're all in college. We have a lot of stuff to do. But there are many options for you to fit exercise into your life. Please direct your attention towards the screen. Uh, 
the traditional owner, the Crown, joined a gym. Now, most gyms are expensive. Planet Fitness is only $10 a month. During the week, it's open 24 hours a day. So you can find whichever way works best for you to fit it into your routine. Next slide, please. If you like to swim, go to your local YMCA. Swim for half an hour a day. Next slide, please. A lot of people like nature. Tyler Park's right there. Make it part of your routine after class to just take the long way to your car. Walk, take a hike into Tyler Park. Slide up, please. It doesn't matter how you exercise. All that matters is that you do. And as often as you possibly can. I'm begging you, please, change your life starting today. Thank you.